Hello and welcome to another Raggy's Beers, Wines and Spirits review. So tonight, I thought why not, why not treat myself to a bit, bit of something decent that I know is decent. Old Tom, made by Robinson's Brewery up in Manchester. Um, 8.5% and um, been around for as long as I've, I remember it in supermarkets and obviously a long time before that most likely. So. Just get myself a glass and uh, do a review. So there was, um, and there are versions of this, Old Tom with Ginger. Um, just making sure this, yeah, Old Tom with Ginger. So it's Old Tom with Ginger beer and 6% uh, the best. Um, ginger beer in the UK. There was an old Tom with chocolate as well, but that that, that seemed to have disappeared. Um, obviously, the, like most companies, they'll try variants of the original formula. And there we go. That's a decent sized head on it, isn't it? Oh, that aroma of strong malt, like a rum aroma coming from it. And as you can see, dark, um, dark chestnut colour to it, with a off-white, like a beigey head. And again, that aroma of strong uh, alcohol, really nice. Might not be a lot of people's um, beer of choice. I mean, 8.5%, I think it's one of the strongest in the real ale category in most supermarkets. It's one of the strongest you'll get. Um, there's, no, there's many stronger than than Old Tom. Certainly at the likes of Sainsbury's, Asda, Tesco may have some double IPAs that are slightly stronger. But for beers that have been around for years, obviously it must sell well and it's lasted the uh, test of time. I mean, I have had it before quite a few times and it is gorgeous but for review purposes I'll review it again and tonight the white wine's on the go as well as the rosé wine so that's good news hopefully a week or two's time they'll be done getting bottled and also my apple wine is now uh, barreled up again another week or so and I'll give it the first um, try, tr the trial run, and hopefully it tastes okay. It did take a lot longer to ferment than the orange, because basically I had to use the orange yeast from the orange to get that to ferment. So now it should settle down, it should clear naturally within a week or so, um, and we'll go from there. I could add finings to them, but why we're in... Uh, why I strip out some of the taste to get it clear. It'll just be a hazy wine. Right, so this head's still not going down very quickly. Oh, been a while since I've had a beer that strong. Wow, the wallop of alcohol. Absolutely gorgeous. A proper beer. Put his hairs on your chest, that sort of beer. Oh. No, anyway, back to, to win, back to winter today, and then tomorrow we're looking at. Well, I think tomorrow it's going to be a little bit warmer, and Wednesday back to summer. Yeah, strange old days. Do you ever feel when you watch the news that your uh, the government are doing this to slow the amount of deaths down? That's admirable. But when they talk about it, and that if twenty thousand die, that's a good that's a good number. We've kept it down. I think, yeah, twenty thousand, but that's people. You know, we're not bloody sheep to the slaughter. Uh, it uh, does make you wonder sometimes. 
It also makes you wonder why two months ago, all these plans have got an operation now, why they didn't go full pelt two months ago and start knowing. I mean, I suppose there's a thing, as soon as the World Health Organization said it's a pandemic, then everything goes into full organization then. But, um, yeah, it's strange how it, uh, obviously hindsight's a thing into, you know, it may, it may have died off in China and never got here, as did like SARS and the bird flu. Uh, they didn't never got anywhere near us. So I bet countries around the world were hoping that was going to be the same case. But obviously this is a different, slightly different beast to those. Anyway, let's get back to the beer. So Robinson's Brewery, um, quite a few nice beers from them. Uh, they've got a deal with uh, Co-op at the moment to... Uh, they've got a range of beers at Co-op, in Co-op's name, obviously brewed by Robinson's, and it shows on the bottle as well. Um, I've won a competition with them on Facebook for a, a case of uh, Chopmeister. And uh, I think it was Chopmeister. Yeah, and it went down very well. I think it was Chopmeister, was it? No, it might have been called something else. But it was a nice chocolate beer anyway. Oh, that strong malt flavour. It really, really um, hits you quite nicely. And uh, I'm at work tomorrow. I work at five in the morning, so I can't have too much to drink. But I need something to get me to sleep. So uh, this will help. And I might have a nice little whiskey chaser just to, just to help one sleep. And... Uh, Get into bed early and watch TV, that normally does it. Yeah, put my favourite film on. I'm gone in five minutes. It's usually the case, I don't know what it is. I think I get comfortable watching my favourite film. And yet I can watch crap sitting there watching it and watch the whole, all of it. Peed off because the wife's put crap on. And uh, yeah, I can watch all of it. Put Harry Potter on, one of my favourites, and I'm asleep in five minutes. Where's the justice in that? Well, the good news is the white wine's already bubbling. That's impressive. So it's only been in there a few hours. So it's obviously warm, obviously warm enough in here, but we well, said it's, it's going down to freezing tonight, so that might hamper uh, brewing a little bit. As for brewing, uh, while we're on the subject of brewing, uh, our friends at... Um, Love brewing. There's some like funny noises going on in the background. I can hear this like a little noise coming from somewhere. Freaking me out, bloody thing. Yeah, anyway. Um, Love brewing, do a kit, a uh, beer, beer kit. It's 38 quid, so steep. Um, but it makes an imperial stout and it's supposedly got the best um, <clears throat> ingredients in the UK. Now, 38 quid for 40 pints, yep, so it's a pound a pint. I would add a couple of bags of sugar to that just to get it up a little bit more and make it into a, one of them beers, a bit like this, a proper beer that you know is going to give you a wallop. I will review, uh, do a re-review of the Imperial Red Ale that I did about four or five months ago now. Yeah, four, yeah, five, it's about five or six months ago now. Um, yeah, because I did it at the same time as the um, the Chateau Neuf de Pat wine, or Chateau du Vaux as they call it. And I've still got some bottles of that, I've not really drank a lot of it. And I will do a mature video of it, just to show you how it has improved or maybe not improved and uh, that's if the bottles aren't blown because there's a smell of beer in that corner and I'm sure one of the bottles is probably blown a bit that taste it's absolutely gorgeous um, 
so it's like a really strong malty taste and for me there's hints of rum in there um, but anyway whatever with the taste the strength comes through beautifully and uh, I would love to have a crate of this I'd be battered after about three or four So old Tom, um, on the aroma straight away as it hits you, woof, alcohol, strong alcohol, multi-alcohol aroma. Same on the taste, strong al uh, multi-alcohol aroma. I'm still hearing a strange noise from the back of me. Um, absolutely spot on uh, flavour. Um, like I said, i got hints of rum. It's one of those beers that you know, this, you could pick out different flavours from it. All I'm saying with this is, if you want a beer that packs a punch in the alcohol department, then there's no better. I don't think so anyway. Um, it's not got taste of banana and stuff like that, but it has got certain tastes that are not easy to pick out. I'm not robbing people's reviews to find out what them tastes are. All I know is, it smells good. It tastes good and it's got that lovely 8.5% strength. Get me a barrel. Um, out of five. For me, yes. It's pretty much all about the alcohol with this. But the strength, if this is not in one of your top 10 beers, it's not going to please all. It's not got the complexities of, say, King Goblin at 6.6%. But it is a top class beer. For me, 4.61 in my top 10 classification category. Yeah, absolute. If, I, if I'm going to treat myself to some beers, uh, only the best beers, this is one of the best beers that I'll treat myself to. And if you've never had it before, what are you missing out on? If you're not used to strong beers, you may find this a little bit strong. Um, start off at something dark at 6% and work your way up. But uh, if you're used to Belgian beers that are ten and twelve percent, and this is this is you know it's a little babby, isn't it? You know you're you're drinking this thinking, oh that's nice. Uh, yeah, so there you go, Golden Robinsons, true quality beer. Can't fault it whatsoever. And right, that's all for this review. Thanks for watching. See you soon, and stay safe. Cheers.